Hi there, and welcome back to Viewpoint Christian Academy for another Monday Moments. I'm Dr. Adam Rondo, Director of Viewpoint Christian Academy, where we are seeking to empower parents for Christian education. Through our biblical, individualized, and mastery-based approach, we want to help, help you impart um, a biblical worldview into your family and into your children, into the next generation. Today, in our Monday Moments, where we talk about all things Christian education, today I want to kind of address this issue. Um, the masks are coming off at public schools. Now what? Stay tuned, let's talk about it. So I'm excited to hear that there is a movement around the country of states beginning to realize that, you know, kids wearing masks for six to eight hours a day is not a great thing. It's time for them to take the masks off and uh, to move on. I know here in the state of Massachusetts where we operate, um, there was a state mandate for public schools to wear masks. Private schools were not bound by that they were able to make their own decision and, and do as they desired but public schools were required to wear masks and then there were some areas where uh schools even private schools had to worry because there were some towns that said no you've got to do it no matter what stores all these kind of things so um but the governor recently came out and said that it was time to uh, uh give the kids a break and let them move on and not wear the masks and that's kind of a trend that's been going on a lot of states just kind of abandoned them to begin with but Several of what we would call like blue states uh, decided to hang on to them for quite a while. For instance, right now, California, Connecticut, Massachusetts, those are three schools, uh, three states that I can think of that are beginning to decide that they're going to uh, uh, eliminate or allow to expire the mask mandates uh, that are uh, present uh, in their public school settings and in, for, the, for the kids in the schools. So uh, what now, though, if, if uh, you know, this is kind of something that's been around with us for about almost, you know, two years now, um, this idea of masking and et cetera, so on and so forth. So, you know, a lot of families switched to private or homeschool, uh, private schools or homeschools because they wanted to avoid having to have their child get masked all day. And I completely and totally understand that. I think that that's, you know, if, if you're worried that that's not a good thing for your child, then, you know, you do what's best for your child and you find a place, uh, either a private school or a homeschool situation where they don't have to be encumbered with a mask all day long. Then I begin to ask myself this question, well, will all of those families, and there have been statistics shows that a massive amount of families have left public education, government funded education, government schools, and they've decided to go with homeschooling or private schooling options. Now the question is, once the masks are gone, well, will they switch back, right? Will they switch back? Well, the reality is that the masks have been coming off of the public schools in some ways, not necessarily the kid's face, but a lot of the, I'll use the term garbage, filth, um, and, and terrible things that are being presented to children as normal, whether it's sexualization or, uh, you know, critical race theory or social emotional learning, all these different kinds of things, the mask has been coming off, whether they like it or not. And people are beginning to see what really is underlying these things. Because if, if your reason for, for leaving those schools was the mask, that's like saying, uh, I see the tip of the iceberg and I want to get out because underneath there is so much that is not desirable <laughs> uh, and problematic, especially for those who desire to disciple their children and train them with a biblical worldview. So the reality is that the mask has been coming off the face of the public schools and a lot of the things that have been taught uh, and that children are being exposed to is being uh, uncovered. It's being revealed, right? Now, some will go right back because, you know, sports are really important in this, you know, because for some people, they, they were all, you know, they're all about, I want, I want my child to play sports. I want them to have this advantage. I want them to have that advantage. And so they will go back and they will do that. Um, but I want to just po point this out for a moment, if I could, and I don't want to belabor this, but masks are a very temporal reason for leaving public education, that system. That, that they're a temporal reason and by that I mean uh, 
there are too many that view education with a temporal lens. They look at education as, you know, I just, it's just something I want for my kid today. I want that, you know, I, I got to have a place for my kid to go. Uh, I got to have uh, something, you know, they got to learn, they got to do that. And they got to be ready for this life. And, and, and they've got to be able to get a good job someday, right? Or go on to college or something along that lines. The problem with that is that is a very temporal lens. That's, you know, my best life now mentality where I'm really just worried about the nasty here and now. But from a Christian perspective, it's always wise for us to look at situations and look at things in an eternal perspective. God doesn't want you to just see what's going on in front of your nose. God wants you to have vision for your life and for your family. And that means that you have to see beyond the temporal and you have to see into the eternal. And the eternal implications of the education that you choose or allow your child to have are so important. And it's really, 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 can I emphasize this? It's really important that you take an eternal view. What profit does it do your child if they get all the sports and if they get all the extracurricular activities and they get all of the, uh, all of the, the STEM and, and the robotics and all the different things, if they get all of that, but then they lose in the process their soul? Now, am I against sports? No, I think they're a great, valuable tool. Am I against extracurricular? Absolutely not. Do I think STEM is important? Oh, you bet I do. But it's not as important as the eternal soul of the child. It's time for us to shift away from looking at education as something that we do today, this week, this year for our child, and look at it as something that we do for their eternity. And have an eternal goal in mind. That means that if we see that they have all, the public school has all of these advantages because it's tax funded and it's got a lot of money and it does all these things, but yet it's diminishing the teachings of scriptures, it's undermining those things and leading them astray and even causing spiritual damage in their life, then we must reject it. We have no choice. We must see the eternal value of the discipleship education process and realize that the education that my child receives is their discipleship for life and have an eternal view in mind with that. Look, Jesus said this, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things will be added unto you, but you cannot put the cart before the horse. You must first seek the kingdom of God. You have to keep that eternal perspective in view. So my encouragement to you today is that even though the masks are coming off, it doesn't mean that the eternal value can be discarded and ignored. Keep that in mind when you're making choices for your child's education in the future, in the present. Have that wisdom perspective of the eternal always in view. Listen, this is being released on Valentine's Day 2022. You know, we know that love, as we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, love always seeks the best of the other. It's not selfish, it's not self-serving, it's not looking for the best daycare, quote unquote, school program. It's looking for the most effective way to care for the other. What is the most effective way to care for your children in, your, in their education going forward? I just leave you with that question and I wanna challenge you today. Don't just look in front of your nose. Don't just see what's here in front of you. Look ahead to the future. Look ahead to eternity. Plan for eternity when it comes to, don't just plan for college. Yes, I know you need to plan for college. Don't just plan for college. Plan for eternity when it comes to your child's education. God bless you. You have a great, great week. I love you. The Lord loves you. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day and a great week this week. God bless.